Here at the Smoky Mountain Relic Room, we've got one of the largest diversities of crystals and minerals anywhere for sale in North America. And I want to show you guys exactly how many that is. Relic Room has been in business for over 40 years. If you want to see a really cool tour of the store, check out our tour video in the link in the description. But I want to show you guys all the awesome crystals and minerals that we've got. So one of the things that you see in a lot of crystal and mineral shop are these amethyst and citrine cathedrals. What these are is, is these are giant pockets of gas that are trapped down below. They're mined anywhere from Mexico to Uruguay. What's really cool about these is, is how they display them. Notice that all these set up like a base. They look like a big, tall cathedral, hence giving them that name. But what they do is, is they take that pocket and they figure out the best way to orientate it. You see this down here? This is the museum base that they put on these geodes. So if you see this line right here, this is the actual form of the gas pocket. And so what they do is, is they create this base where it sets upright and it is beautifully displayed. Another orientation to see, I'll show you this, are these tables right here where they turned this gas pocket sideways up on its side where we can create a beautiful table that allows you to look down inside and see the crystals inside with three legs going down it. Because we're working directly with the mines in South America, we got some of the best prices on this stuff and the greatest variety that you can find anywhere in the United States. It is incredible to think of what all that is out there in the world. That's one thing about collecting crystals and minerals is it gives you an opportunity to see just how awesome this planet really is. Modern mining practices are, some are questionable, but since we work directly with the mines themselves, we actually physically go to these countries ourselves to make sure that everything that we have is ethically, not only ethically sourced, but ethically and responsibly mined. I want to show you some of the other pieces that we have in the shop. Come on, check it out. This side of our shop is dedicated just to crystals and minerals, and this is what we call Crystal and Mineral Row down here. This is a really cool specimen here. This is both a mineral and a fossil. It's the only thing on the planet that has both the designation of being a fossil and a mineral. This is amylite. This comes from just one place in southern Ontario, Canada. What it is is it's a, actually the shell of an ammonite. Uh, fossil marine cephalopod, but the density of the mineral itself was so great that they were able to actually mine it and produce jewelry out of it. It's only found in one place in the entire world, Alberta, Canada, and it's a fossil and a crystalline mineral. How cool is that? Come on. Some of the other cool pieces that you'll see that are pretty common are pieces like zeolites down here from India. Zeolites are really incredible because you've got a lot of different mineral things going on here and it's a great opportunity to get several mineral specimens in one individual piece for a pretty affordable price. Another thing that's really big in crystals and minerals is the use of crystals and minerals for metaphysical purposes, metaphysical healing stones, and that's something that we practice often. I carry these with me every day. This is what I carry. This is a tektite. So what this is, this is a meteorite impact stone. This is known as sephardite or on the market as sensimia stone. So what this does is, is this works with people of high vibration because I'm a ah, everything's awesome person. For whatever reason, this stone works really well for me. Metaphysical stones work like this, is that everything in the universe vibrates. We know that. That's scientifically proven. I vibrate, you vibrate, the camera vibrates, and these stones vibrate as well. So what they do is, is they know the vibrational frequency of each different stone and that vibrational frequency is then tested among personal traits that work within yourselves. So these stones, if you're having problems with uh, everything from health and medical problems to uh, emotional problems, trauma, mood, depression, things like that. You can get specific stones to help alleviate those problems. I carry it every day and I really notice when I do and don't have my stones on me. Some other stones that we have are pieces that are polished and curved. Labradorite specimens are really beautiful. What you have is, is you've got a fractured stone that allows shimmer in all different angles of the camera light. Labradorite is a hugely collected stone. These pieces come out of Madagascar. 
Another beautiful stone that we have down here are, is mica. Mica is a really cool mineral because this was actually once mined and processed and used by the prehistoric Native Americans here in North America. It's neat for us because we're located in, in the Appalachian Mountains of East Tennessee. What's really cool is, is that Native Americans here in East Tennessee mined mica out of the Smoky Mountains and traded it as far west as the Great Lakes and as far south as the Gulf of Mexico. What they would do is, is they would take these sheets and they would cut shapes out of it. There's a really beautiful piece called the human hand that is accentuated human hand made out of this sheet mica. So mica was really important in prehistoric Native America and it's really important for us today too. So we like to have this because it's something you know that was used by Native Americans here within our own home. A lot of crystals and minerals that we have are in these polished forms, these easily, easily to carry forms from spears to natural forms, to polished crystals and minerals. But if you notice, on each individual piece we have, we've got the metaphysical properties wrote out with it, and these you can all find on our website. One of the cool pieces that we've got is euphorolite. This is a brand new discovered stone, and we work really hard with the men and the women that are out in the field discovering this. Euphorolite is really cool because it's operating at a higher frequency than most crystals. So euphorolite creates a euphoric feeling, dispelling negative ions. It's a real good natural conductor of positive energy, and it's a combination of blue tourmaline, mica, field Spar, labradorite, quartz, lapetalite, gold, and other minerals from a meteorite impact that is still being understood by science. This is something that's an example of a brand new discovery. And whenever there are new discoveries out there in the field here at the Relic Room, we are on top of that because we want to get those really cool new things to you guys. Another real cool mineral to have are minerals that are in what's known as matrices. They're basically as they were found. This is kyanite samples, and you can see kyanite populated forms with quartz. And so this is a specimen that is literally straight out of the matrix, out of the original rock. Vivianite is another stone within this class of something that's just discovered and just got on the market. It is an incredibly expensive stone, but what we do is, is we work directly with the miners in South America to bring this stone in, and then we process it here in-house to get it into specimen sizes of anybody's price range. That's a really important thing for us here at the Relic Room is to make sure that Everybody can afford that stuff, and we just don't say it, we do it every day. Vivianite's really cool, not only because it's, it's a new stone, but it's very useful in the metaphysical community. What this stone does is by stealing a deep sense of immense peace within oneself, Vivianite is a powerful meditation tool that emits the radiant energy of love, becoming a powerful tool to heal deep emotional wounds, as well as combating issues of inferiority, anxiety, frustration. And it does this by increasing one's self-esteem and bringing you into balance with the universe. It is such a wonderful stone. And we are so excited to be working directly with the men and women in the field who are discovering this stuff to bring this straight to you guys. Another really cool mineral type that we like to have is, is these natural precious mineral specimens here, like copper, silver, and gold. These are all minerals that are precious to us here in the 21st century, to humanity. This is what a piece of copper ore looks like. Same with silver ore and gold literally straight adhered onto the quartz rock. This is what these specimens look like before they're processed and made into coins, currency, and copper wire for our everyday use. Another type of crystal and mineral that you can find here at the Relic Room are crystal and mineral specimens. What's so cool is, is, you know, we're familiar with, you know, going to rock shops and seeing there's about a dozen to two dozen different types of crystals and minerals that you'll see at every rock shop, no matter where you go. But here at the Relic Room, we are passionate about crystals and minerals, and we want to bring you guys a variety of stuff because there's so much stuff going on. You get these beautiful combinations of different crystals and minerals that form in deposits all over the world that are absolutely mind-blowing to behold. What's so fascinating is, is that out in space, there's only about 50 to 70 known minerals that exist within the universe. What's fascinating about the Earth is, is that there are literally thousands and thousands of different types of crystals and minerals on the planet. And the reason that is, is that the Earth is a living engine. We basically have a big primordial soup with heat, pressure, and time that creates all of these different incredible crystals and minerals that do nothing but baffle us with the beauty of what this planet can create. 
One of the more common crystals that you have out there in, in a neat variety is pyrite. Pyrite is the crystalline form of iron. What's so cool is, is how it forms. Pyrite is a crystal, and you can see some of the crystalline shapes that it forms there, but it also forms in a cubistic pattern like this. I know it looks manufactured, but this is actually the natural form of both of these pieces. This comes from Spain and this comes from Peru. And because of the mineral processes within those areas, you get these different formations. Everything that we have at the Relic Room are natural specimens, meaning they're not man-made, minus just a very few exceptions. Bismuth is one of those exceptions that we have. Bismuth is a man-made stone. It is a naturally occurring mineral, but in its crystalline form is found very, very rarely in nature. What's so cool is, is that within the past 15 years, people have figured out how to grow bismuth crystals. And this is one of the few man-made minerals that we have that we are so proud to have because you rarely see it. We showed you guys just a very small glimpse of the huge diversity of crystals and minerals that we have for sale here at The Relic Room. If you want to see all the selection that we have, go to our website, therelicroom.com, or come in our store located inside of Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We have over 350 different stones to choose from, and we're going to be featuring each and individual one of those in short little uh, videos so that we can get you guys all the cool behind the scenes talk about what all of this cool history is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, history rocks. Woohoo!